So while we wait for a few more people to drop in, just find your seat on the floor. And um, take a few deep breaths to let go of what you've been doing so far today. Focusing on the time that is now that you have chosen to give to yourself. So um, let's get going by rubbing your hands together, putting your thumbs, your hands together, thumbs at the sternum, a gesture of a warm heart, respect, gratitude, and oneness with all people. There we go. So uh, we did a, a breathing exercise yesterday and let's do another one to start with today. Um, we'll repeat the one from yesterday. And that is <clears throat> a quite forceful breath in and out through your nose, starting with your hands up in the air, stretching up through your fingertips, imagining you gr grasping good energy from above. You put your thumb in your palm, wrap your fingers around, and then pull everything down to the side of your chest. You can even bump a little bit onto your rib cage and stimulate the uh, meridians on the side. So inhale and exhale. I'm gonna go for nine rounds starting now. Stop with the hands in the air, inhale, hold, and let go, exhale, feather through the aura energy field until you come all the way down to the ground. Put your palms, one resting in the other, thumbs touching, and let your body absorb. That extra oxygen we just inhaled. We're going to do another repetition. So get ready. We're starting with the inhaling, arms stretching up. Here we go. And stop with the arms up in the air. Stretch through your fingertips. And slowly come down. One palm in the other, thumbs touching. Straight back. Gaze to the inside. There we go. All right, so I'm going to do um, a little bit of a sound salutation, which is a very traditional kind of uh, yoga series, really, of, of movements and can be done in many different ways. So um, we're standing up and we're going to do a short, easy version. Uh, sorry about that. So, inhale, put your arms up. Exhale, hinge at the hip, come down. Bend your knees, soft back. Now straighten your knees, come to halfway lift, arms straight, pressing at the shins and your back flat. Exhale, soften, bend your knees. 
Inhale. Come back up, arms overhead. And one more time. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale straight back. Push away, exhale down. Inhale all the way up. And hands touching down to your heart. Let's do it one more time. Starting from the heart, inhaling up. Exhaling, swan dive down. Halfway up, stretch your back. And soften your knees, come down, exhale. And inhale, stand up. Bums touching, exhale down to your chest. All right, so take your hands to your hips, bend at the hip, place your hands on the floor. You can bend your knees and come down to all fours. So as I mentioned, we're gonna focus a little bit more on your hip today. So come up on your knees, Place one foot in front of you with the knees in 90 degree angle. Take, so I, in this case, I have my left leg bent. Only stretch the opposite arm up in the air and lean over to the bent leg side. Inhale, come back up and down. Let's push back on that leg till you have a straight leg. You might need to move it forward a little bit. Hinge again at your hip with a straight back. Come down on your exhalation. See if you can touch your fingertips to the ground. Maybe even your palm to the ground. You feel a nice opening on the backside of your leg. Inhale in. And exhale, soften and bend over the leg. Hold for a few breaths. Breathing into the tight places. And then come up, all the way to just standing uh, straight again. Bend the knee, take the foot down, and uh, take that back leg a little bit further behind you. So we're now in a little bit more of a, a split position. From here, rise up through your hips and then lean forward until you get a nice opening on your hip, the front of your hip. It is so a stretch. Again, let's lift that arm up to the ceiling and lean over. You might need to steady yourself with the other hand. Lean over to the side. You might also find uh, it a bit uncomfortable for your back knee, then just put something soft under it. Breathe in this position. Feel the opening all the way through the arch that you're creating with the upper body from your hip. And come back down. All right, so now Walk your foot out a little bit and place both hands on the inside of that knee. Either you'll be on your fingertips, or if this is too much, you might even need to have a stack of books or something to, or a yoga block for that matter, to give you support. Like this. But if you can reach the floor, let your, put your weight on your, your hands. 
and sink down with the hips. Always on exhalation when we go into a, a deeper stretch. Keep it here while you breathe. And if this still is quite comfortable, you may go ahead and bend your elbows and come down onto your elbows. Keep breathing in whatever position you are. And then come back up. Okay, now gently pull that bent leg behind you. Come to your all fours. Tuck your toes under. Put your hands a little bit in front or downward facing dog. Push your tailbone up. Start with bent legs, focusing on opening up through your chest. Let the torso fall in between your arms. And then slowly start walking the dog, pressing one heel at a time towards the floor. Nice breath going. And then find your place with your heels striding towards the floor or even touching the floor. And come back down, bend your knees onto all fours. Okay. Let's do this on the other side. Start by placing your, I have my right uh, leg, if you're doing the same side, it's gonna be that one. 90 degree angle in your knee, lift the arm up through your hip and the side body, lean over to the side. Use the breath to fill the areas where you feel that tightness. And come back down. Now push uh, your bum back, straighten your leg. And we'll do the split preparation, actually this. Um, hamstrings stretch, which is something I guess many of you have done many times. So wherever you're comfortable with your fingertips to the floor or your palms to the floor, try to keep your back as straight as you can. Inhale, lengthen, and then on exhalation, soften everything and let your head and torso round over your leg. All right. Put your foot back. Come into a little bit of a Lounge here. Let your hips sink down. Keeping the knee above your heel. You don't want to bend that leg too much. But start to open up that back hip, the front side where the iliopsoas muscle is uh, running through. Inhaling and letting go on exhalation, finding new length and opening in the hip. And move that right foot uh, a few inches out to the side and take both hands to the inside of the leg. Again, either fingertops touching 
for your palms. Sink down through your hip. And if you are ready for a greater challenge, bend your elbows, come down with your torso. This is the dragon pose. It's a strong hip opener. So again, do not exceed your limit. Find your pose where the tissue is in a perfect sweet spot. Come back up. And pull that leg back, hands and knees. Prepare for another downward facing dog. Toes under, palms spread wide, push through your knuckles and lift your hips. A few nice breaths. Then come back down, cross your ankles behind you and move over to a seated position. Well, here we can go ahead and extend our legs in front of us. Pull the right knee up and put the foot across that left leg. I'm going to do a twist here and you can stay with the leg straight or you might bend it and put the foot next to your hip. Uh, go ahead and extend your right arm, rotate to the left, push your body forward on the inside of your right leg, wrap the arm around and Steady yourself with your left hand when you do a twist. You really feel like a pretzel here. A different kind of a, come back, uh, of a, of a um, rotation. So let's do the other, we'll sit still in the same position. Now just lift your left arm and pull it across from uh, the inside, touching your outer thigh, turning to your right. This is more of the normal um, way that we usually do this stretch. And you get the effect more uh, on the buttock and outer hip on the right side. Lifting through your body, using the inhalation to grow long, exhalation to rotate a few more degrees. Beautiful. Slowly come back and we'll do the other side. Take your left leg across the right to the outside of the, the thigh. Either remain here or bend that right leg. So you have the foot next to your left hip. Lift the left arm, turn to the right. Now place that right hand as a steadier on the side. Now push forward and reach from, um, <clears throat> from the inside of that left leg. Wrap the left arm around the left leg and turn. 
if you can, you can take the right hand and grab hold of the left hand. Release. Now lift that right arm up. Push it forward and wrap around the left leg, turning to your left. Lifting high through your spine. Rotating on the exhalation. Very good. Okay, come back uh, to a seated position with your legs bent. Now take um, the right leg across and put it on top of your left knee. Um, and, and this is a thread the needle position, but we'll do it from a seated position today. Now, if you prefer to do it laying down, you can do that. Keep that foot of your right leg um, flexed and start walking your hands forward to push your torso towards the shin of your right leg. If you uh, need a more of a stretch, just move your bum closer to the left heel. Find your position where you have a nice feeling of an opening in that right hip. Finding your edge, respect where it's at and breathe. Good. Let's release and move over to the other side. Left leg across. Foot flexed to protect the knee. Push with your arms to, to uh, straighten the torso and lean the torso in towards your shin. Find your edge by moving the bum closer to your right heel. Keep breathing into your left hip. Nice. All right, so let's get the adductors, uh, which will be a straddling position. We'll take uh, as wide apart as we can. Come sit up on your sit bones. Now, if you find yourself with a rounded spine, uh, try to put something underneath your buttocks to come a bit higher. Uh, and it, it might also not get your, arm, uh, your, your legs that very wide apart. So find a comfortable position where you still be able to get a little bit of a, uh, of a stretch. Okay. So you're sitting high on your sit bones, feet flexed, legs apart, lift up again through your torso, place your hands in front of you, and then start crawling forward as you breathe, finding your edge, that sweet spot where it's just enough, not too much, not too little. And we're gonna be all different
Once you reach your edge, you stay and breathe. And crawl back to slowly come back to your seated position. You might want to shake your legs a little bit and pull them in to let the feet touch, the soles together. Have a diamond shape in uh, your legs. Again, come up high on your sit bones, lift through your spine, crown to the ceiling. Hold on to your feet and push yourself nicely and gently down towards the feet. Keeping that back as straight as you can. When you start curving, that's the time to stop. Use your breath as a help to release anything that's in the way for the tissue to relax. That's a nice opening in my hip anyhow. I hope it's in yours too. So slowly ease up. Let's do a windshield wiper here to soothe the area a little bit. Feet uh, on the floor, knees bent, and then just rock your knees from side to side. I will do one more of these um, adductor stretches. And this time, well, actually, I'm changing my mind. Just sit in your an easy pose. And straighten up through your spine again. And gently come forward, leaning down to your edge. Come up and switch the feet around. Put the other foot in front. Straighten your back and come back down towards the floor while you breathe and relax. Very nice. Come up to a seated position. Close your eyes. And make yourself comfortable in a seated position, whichever position is good for you. Just allow yourself to Sit quiet for a little while, while these poses and stretches are integrating through your nervous system. Tissue that has been stretched, opening of 
joints and muscles. Signals that we've given our body that sometimes we want more space, more freedom to move. And by doing these poses, we're showing the body what we would like from it. And we are pliable human beings, then the body will respond when we gently remind it by doing yoga, stretches, it'll know and learn to let go. And that will be the end of today. So place your hands at your sternum. I wish you that you may be safe. May you be healthy and happy. May you live with ease, with whatever comes your way in life. And may you be peaceful. Thank you. Namaste. Kitos. Obrigada. Gracias. Merci.